it's Lisa. Um, I wanted to do some cards. I've been trying to get some cards made up ahead for the year. And I was looking at my sketches the other day and I thought, you know, some of these would really make good card sketches. So I was trying to kind of figure out how I could take the sketches and just pare them down for a card. And I started going through them and making some little, some little quick sketches of several of them and I realized that quite a few of them could easily be converted to card sketches. It's just a matter of leaving out some stuff. Um, the sketch sketches I'm referring to are my scrapbook sketches for 2014. I have one for 2013 as well. Um, and they're designed for 12 by 12 pages. Um, and most of my cards are not square. They are usually uh, a card size like this, uh, four and a quarter by five and a half. So I need to convert this to more of almost like a portrait orientation or if it were eight and a half by eleven it would be really easy uh, to scale down but what I want to do is take it to something that um, is narrower by wider or I could go this way either way with the uh, arrangement but I'm going to do kind of a portrait orientation and I'm actually just starting with this very first sketch in the book um, it's a one photo sketch and what I liked about it is are these strips around the edges because I think that would be a great place to do washi tape. I got a lot of washi tape. I'm still buying washi tape. I like it. I'm not using it as much as I'd like to. So, and, and pardon my drawing, I'm a terrible, terrible sketcher. Um, but I want to get four strips of washi tape around the edge and then that's going to leave me a very small area in the middle so I kind of have to pick out what I want to use. And what I like are these round elements that are part of this. I think on the original layout they were accordion flowers or rosettes, but I'm just gonna I'm probably gonna do something stamped there. And then in the middle where the title is, I'll have a place for my greeting. So that's my card sketch. I'm going to have the three round elements, the washi tape, and the greeting, and then I've got a sketch or, or an arrangement. So let's just go ahead and make a card based on this sketch. Now what I thought would look good for the uh, round elements is to use some of these um, scalloped designs. This was a set I bought at the Goodwill for a dollar, uh, but I did buy from Stamping Up the punch that matched. I've been wanting the smaller punch anyway because I had some other things uh, that went with it and I used my scallop punch so much. So I'm probably going to do, whereas the sketch has all of these about the same size, maybe the larger one down here at the bottom, I think I'm going to do my larger one up here and then two smaller ones um, of these. But I, first I'm going to pick out for colors my washi tape. And I'm probably going to work, since I'm going to be doing something colorful, on some white cardstock. This is Naturals White uh, from Stamping Up. Uh, uh, so I'm going to use that as my base. And I went ahead and cut it to 4 and an eighth by 5 and 3 eighths so that I could just wrap the washi around the back and then lay it on a card front. So let's pick out some washi tape. Got lots of pretty ones here. I think I want to do something kind of bright and cheery this morning. It is a very dreary day here in North Carolina today. So I like this. I like this polka dotty washi tape. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and put a piece of that right on my card so it'll be easy to match to. I'm going to continue along and picking some colors that will go with that particular tape. I've got some pink and red and green and there's an orange stripe. I really like the green stripes. I'm trying to find out a different pattern and I decided on this yellow chevron. The colors for this card ended up really bright. <laughs> As I say, I wanted some then to cheer me up on this on the dreary day I was doing this, but they did end up being uh, pretty bright colors. You get a really different look, of course, if you just chose more muted uh, tones or neutrals for the washi tape. I'm just wrapping them around the edge there, and then um, I'm going to do some stamping. So I pulled some ink colors that matched. Um, a yellow from Stamping Up, Daffodil Delight, I believe it was, and the Melon Mambo. And then the green gave me a little trouble because I didn't really have that bright a green. Um, I have some pear pizzazz and I have a couple of markers. So I have a couple of different scallop um, stamps that I'm going to be working with. I decided to do some layering with these stamps and my greeting is actually going to end up being part of the stamps. I needed to get a little better image there, so I put it on some foam. 
One of them will say friend, and then another one will say for you. And I have a small round punch. I think it's a three quarter inch punch that fits that for you. So I'm going to start using some of these other colors here for the uh, different scalloped images. Now the green, I stamp this in pear pizzazz and I end up, uh, you'll see it stamped there, but actually off camera I end up redoing it in one of the markers. Uh, that's a little bit brighter, lighter green because it's the pear pizzazz was just really too more of a, um, I don't know, just a little bit duller green than that really bright washi tape. Now since I have for you on there, I don't really need a place for a greeting, but I still needed to fill in the space a little bit. So I decided to use a stencil and just sponge on a little bit of that yellow ink for a swirl in the background there. I could do this with a stamp. I like doing a stencil because it's really easy to control where your image ends up. And it gives it a very soft look. And of course I could do other things besides those scalloped circles. I could do flowers. A change in washi tape or paper strips would give me a very different color scheme. Um, this wasn't part of the sketch, but I thought some twine would look good going around this. I'm trying to keep my cards these days as flat as possible to reduce the postage cost and and it's just really easy to get something in the mail. And I'm using some of uh, the large glue dots to put these on with. And I have some yellow cardstock um, for my base. So our card is pretty much done. We have a nice cheerful card that would work for birthday or get well. And you'll see the sketch here in a moment. We took several elements from the sketch, the strips around the edge, the three round embellishments, and then through the middle, instead of putting a title or a larger design there, I just uh, did a little bit of stenciling to fill it in and added the twine. So thanks for watching today. I hope that um, you'll find this valuable. If you have sketches, you can turn them into cards and you can find my sketchbook over on my blog. Thanks for watching.